So we'll go ahead and get started. And this lecture is on psychoactive drugs. Uh, that, that sounds a little nefarious, but uh, it really is um, increasingly something you deal with, behavior-related problems. They um, are They are uh, increasingly uh, things you encounter in prop, uh, practice, separation anxiety, inappropriate eliminations, aggressions, these sorts of things that now uh, you're expected to deal with or at least know uh, how to address it logically. Uh, <clears throat> and a lot of this all comes down to the receptors involved. And the main ones you see here, you've got the GABA receptor, uh, associated with anxiety, uh, it's really an inhibitory action, so stimulation of the GABA decreases anxiety. You've got the NMDA receptor where ketamine, the disassociatives work. You've got dopamine where our uh, tranquilizer, major tranquilizers like ace chromazine work as an antagonist, the dopamine antagonist. You've got the alpha-1 and alpha-2s. Uh, excitatory and inhibitory. Note though that alpha-1s are primarily in the periphery, not in the central system. So when we're talking about alpha effects on behavior, we're primarily talking about alpha-2s. And an increasingly important one is, is serotonin. It affects a variety of things, mood, anxiety, uh, obsessive compulsive disorders, things of this sort. <laughs> now, I've divided this into two slightly different parts. Uh, the first is where I'm going to go through talking about drugs used to calm animals so that they don't injure themselves or others and to make it easier to do diagnostic and therapeutic procedures. Some of this, but not all of it, should be a refresh from anesthesia. You've seen these before, but primarily I think in um, interacting with students in the clinics that experience them from the standpoint of anesthesia as pre-anesthetic things. Not so much in actually handling uh, the dysphoric patient or the aggressive patient or this sort of thing. So it's a little bit different tack on where we're going. And <laughs> then we'll uh, wind up talking about drug use to treat these various behavior problems anxiety, inappropriate elimination, OCD, aggression, and cognitive dysfunction. Okay, and realize behavior problems are one of the major reasons dogs are um, um, given up to humane societies or shelters because the owners don't like particular behaviors and don't know how to correct them. Yes? Um, can you move your microphone a little bit up? I'm having a hard time. Okay, is that any better? Hopefully that'll do now. Is that better? Sorry. Right. Okay. That's good. It's probably uh, what I'm picking up as well on the, um, on the recording. So uh, when we're talking about drugs used to calm animals or manage them, we break them down into three categories. Tranquilizers, sedative hypnotics, and disassociatives.